Hey, so today we're going to learn about binary digits. So hands up if you've heard of a thing called a bit in a computer. Have you heard of a bit? Okay. Do you know what? A bit comes from binary digits. We take the first letter of binary and add the last bit of digit and we shorten it to bits. So right now we've got five bits just standing up here. So let's see what that means. I'm going to give you the number one. You're going to be a bit that represents one dot. You're going to be a bit that represents two dots. What's the next number? Call it out. Four, three. Hands up if you think three. Okay, that's our counting system. Let's see if you're right with binary. Oh, it's four. What could be the next number? What could be the next number? Yep. Six or five. It could be six or five. It's actually eight. So what's happening with those numbers? What's the next number, Oliver? 16. Is he right? Yep. Yeah. What's the next number after 16 then? Jacob? 32. Ah, what comes after 32? 136. Could be. What else could it be? Lachlan? Is he right? Yep, what's the next number that comes after a 64? Thomas. After that, Jacob. There we go. Does anyone know what the next one is, Ben? 112. So, we, 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 what's the next one, Jacob? 1024. So, with only a few bits, we can count up really high, right? Hmm. So, if we look at this, we can count 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 dots. So let's look at what that means inside a computer. A bit can be on or it can be off. So this bit can be on or it can be off. Right, now what I want you guys to do is to think of a number between 31 and 1. Hands up if you thought of a number. Ben, what number? 12. 12, right. What we want to do is look at these dots and show 12 dots in binary. Do we want 16 on and off or off? Oh. Oh, turn off, please. If we're making the number 12, do we want 8 on or off? On. Oh. Okay. How many is left over then? Four. Okay. So do we want 4 dots on or off? On. Oh. What about 2? Off. Oh. Why? Why is two getting turned off? Because you've already made both with the eight and four. Ah, so one stays on or? Off. Okay, so who can tell me in binary what 12 would be? What represent you 12? Who wants to have a go? William, go. Off, on, on, off, off. Thumbs up if you agree? Cool. What about Elan? Do you want to make, can you guys turn yourselves all back on again? Elan, choose a number that we're going to make. 24, cool. So, Logan, can you just turn yourself back on, please? So, for 24, do we want 16 on or off? Yeah, on. Eight, on or off? On. Four. Off. Two. Off. One. Off. Huh. So, Elan, what is binary for 24 dots? On, on, off, off, off. Could we make the number one for me? So, how would we do that? How would we make the number one? Go. Black, 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 and white. Cool. Can you guys make that? Now that you've seen the number one, is there another number you can think of that would be even lower than one? Will? Um, zero. How would you make zero? It turns the one off as well. Okay, turn on. So we can make the lowest number is zero. And the highest number, if you turn all of your cards back on, with five bits, what's the highest number we can represent? Ben. 31. Hands up if you agree with Ben. So many people can't be wrong. It is, it's 31. So if we can make 31, what's the next card going to be? Um, if I join this and it become the sixth bit, what's the next number? 32. 32. If I turn on 32, these guys all have to turn off to make 32, right? So if you guys all turn off, 
Cool, so let's do some counting and see what happens with the different bits. So we've got zero. What, what do we need to do to make one? Yep, give the instructions. Um, on one. Cool, two, how do we make two? Tell the people, tell um, the people. Turn off one and turn on two. Three, Lachlan, go. Five. Four, uh, yeah, four. William? Five. Jake? Turn one on. Okay. What are you noticing about the first bit? What are you noticing? Xander, what are you noticing? It does all the work. It seems to be doing all the work. Why does it seem that it's doing all the work? Ben? Uh, turn, on, turn on all your bits again. What's the difference between the first bit and all the other bits that you can see? William? Ah, it's the only odd number. So we can represent lots of numbers, right? I wonder how we would represent letters. Turn to the person next to you and come up with any ideas you might have about how to represent letters. How do you think you might represent a letter? So A could be one and B could be two. Is it uh, five? Four, three, two, one. Eyes this way. Hands up who's got a suggestion as to how we can use these to represent letters. What ideas have you got? So 26 could be Z, A could be 1. What would B be then? Jacob? 2. What would C be? What would D be? Four. E? Five. I think we've got the hang of it. I wonder if you can work out what I'm sending you. I'm going to send you a message, okay? Black, white, black, black, black. What number is that? Eight. Mm, so what's the eighth letter in the alphabet? Call it out. H. Okay, hold that in your head. Off, on, off, off, on. What number's that? Ah. What is the... What have I said to you, Xander? Um, it's the word that you said to us is high. Is it? Do you agree with them? Did we do high? Yes. But these are just dots and cards that are on and off. Can I really just communicate a message to you doing that? Yeah? Okay, let's see how good you are. Let's see if I can communicate what month I was born in. Are you ready? Off, on, on, off, off. What month was I born in? Whisper it to me, so many people know the answer. Go. You're right. So using binary digits and using these dots, we can communicate anything from a letter to a number. You can even do images. You can do sound. You can do movies. Everything involves bits because inside a computer isn't a whole lot of cards like this, isn't a whole lot of zeros and ones, but it's a whole lot of things that need to be turned on or turned off. There we go.